everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got another scrapbook layout to show you and this is another one with some photos from a holiday in Ibiza. Now I did do this one last week with a photo from Ibiza and I put 2015 and then on this one I put 2012 which is correct. So I did say in that video that I needed to uh, check the date because I'm sure it was longer than that. So anyway, so I've brought in the, this is the, oh gosh, what was the collection? You just saw it there, Be Happy by Dovecraft. Uh, it's a beautiful collection, really lovely. And um, I pulled that lovely marble paper to use for this layout and the frames that come with the collection. So I've got these three photos and I'm gonna use the frames as kind of like little Polaroids. I just thought, it, you know, again, the whole collection matches and it's rose gold and this was, the one top left was our, I think it was our last night and we were in Cafe Mambo and we watched the sunset. So that's why I've got those two. And then that was, maybe that was another night, but I just like the picture. So I threw it in as well. Anyway, so you can see there, I've just stuck them all down and then I'm just cutting them out. And then these hexagon shapes I'd fussy cut from another project. So I just had all these really nice sayings and I just thought again, they'd work really well with this layout. So I've just brought in this kind of soft pink ink and this kind of swirl wavy stencil. And I've just, I just wanted to add a little bit of depth to the background really. So originally my idea, which is what I'm kind of working with at the minute is to have everything along the left-hand side, but I end up changing it towards the end, which you'll see in a moment, but just adding just really kind of randomly these stripes, you know, no kind of real thought in, you know, that sense, just like I said, over to the left-hand side, um, and I thought they looked quite good. And then I'm using the matching washi tapes from the collection. So I use all three of them, I think. So this is like an abstract, kind of like more of a geometric kind of pattern. This one here is the rose gold love. And then I've got the thin rose gold as well, just to kind of um, frame it all. And I'm just making sure that's really stuck down well. And I just tucked it over the edges. And then I'm starting to kind of lay them down um, on top of each other, but I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to cover all of that washi tape. So now I just turn it all around. <laughs> and uh, lay them all along the bottom and I just preferred that I really like that kind of band that I've got with the washi tape so I just wanted you know you to see that really and that um, I've used that now as my kind of you know line to keep everything straight so you can see I use those three hexagons at the top smile enjoy every moment and choose happy and then I've used the matching puffy stickers these are glitter ones just to write cafe mambo and then I'm just sticking those all down with some liquid glue. And then I had to bring in the holographic cardstock. It's the party island, you know, lots of glitz and lights and everything. And I just thought when you move this layout, it really sparkles and catches the light. So again, I just thought it kind of told the story of our holiday quite well. So I'm using some foam pads to stick those ones down just to add a little bit of dimension. And then I've got these puffy stickers here and I'm using the hearts again just adds a bit more dimension but just um, looks pretty too so <laughs> I like to use those and then I'm using the matching sequins again from the collection these are rose gold gorgeous and I'm just randomly placing those again just with a little bit of glue to keep them in place but it does it when you you move this layout it just looks beautiful down there I've just got a puffy sticker from the matching collection which says be happy be bright be you and then I've just Put the date there i went over it a little bit and it just says ibiza 2012 and there is the finished layout really really nice again it's great to kind of look back i kind of go through moments i'll look at like particular holidays and um you know and i'll pull out pictures and think right i'm going to do some scrapbooking of those and then i might go to a particular season so it does vary but um that's it for the ibiza ones for the moment and then i'll be back with something different next week so thank you for watching as always and i'll see you soon bye